Hi, so in this session we will discuss uh, about the uh, various diseases associated with uh, DNA sensor. Some are reported not to, too much information is there, but whatever it is reported uh, I will discuss with you. And there are some molecules which is uh, used in, in therapeutic, okay. So let us begin with uh, uh, disease. There are some endogenous uh, DNAs and uh, uh, inflammation, okay. So, so as I told you the DNAs too, uh, in, in, in previous session I discussed about the DNAs 1 and DNAs 2, okay. So these DNAs 2 is present in extracellular space, okay. So and it is also present in um, uh, uh, lysosome, uh, lysosome there you know that lysosome has a variety of uh, hydrolases. So DNAs2 is present in lysosome and uh, there are some mutation associated with uh, this uh, DNAs2 as you can see in this uh, uh, slide there are G uh, is changed to the 3 and G changed to C at uh, 347 and A changed to the or mutated to the 362 and that uh, basically uh, this mutation is present in N-terminal phospholipase D domain and there will be a uh, loss of catalytic activity, okay. And the phenotype in human is uh, there will be a type 1 interferon, uh, interferonopathy pathy that is a inflammatory uh, disease okay characterized by excessive production of type 1 interferon if you remember uh, the previous session uh, when i was discussing about the um, rlr at that time also i told that if there is a persistent production of uh, type 1 interferon then that result to the uh, uh, disease and that disease is there will be a generalized inflammatory condition. So the similar thing is happening in, in this case also. If there is a mutation in DNAs2, then that will cause the uh, overproduction of type 1 interferon. TRIX1, which is uh, basically a cytosolic exonucleases, and this molecule uh, is uh, quite well characterized as you can see that uh, there are so many mutations are reported, okay. And if you see there are two major group of uh, uh, mutations and one, muta one group of mutation is basically associated with uh, loss of exonuclease function. And uh, this loss of exonuclease function uh, basically result to the uh, uh, various uh, uh, congenital diseases like uh, uh, ACARD goiter syndrome and if you remember ACARD goiter syndrome or AGS it is also associated with uh, MDA5 in, in previous session uh, when I was discussing RLR I have discussed okay and this is basically uh, characterized by high level of uh, uh, or high amount of type 1 interferon in patient and uh, basically this leads to the neuronal inflammation, okay. And some of this mutation as shown in this table that uh, result to the uh, development of uh, other disease that is familial chilblen lupus erythromatous, this is FCL. It is a heterogeneous uh, autoimmune disorder and some mutation also result to the development of uh, uh, systemic lupus erythromatous, okay. And uh, now you are aware uh, uh, after going through all this, uh, uh, this course, you might be understanding that uh, uh, one disease can be happened by multiple things, okay, SLE can happen by various ways, okay. And uh, if there is a mutation in tricks also that result to the uh, uh, SLE, okay, uh, it is an auto-inflammatory or uh, autoimmune disease uh, which is inflammatory in nature, okay. And there is a various category of uh, SLE, so 
uh, since uh, uh, I am not clinician, I am not the right person to explain various uh, uh, categories of SLA, okay, based on the symptom. Another mutation which you can see that there is a, some frame shift mutation, okay, and uh, this mutation result to the disruption of uh, intracellular localization of this protein and that result to the uh, retinal vesiculopathy with uh, cerebral leukodystrophy, okay. So, I do not know much about this disease, uh, clinically I am incapable to explain this disease, okay, but this result to this disease. Uh, there are various mutation uh, associated with uh, uh, sting which plays a very important role in DNA sensing pathway. It act as an adapter for various molecule, you have seen that it is adapter for CGMP, it is adapter for IFI 16, okay. And there are various mutation and these mutation can result to the gain of uh, function as you can see uh, in this table. There is a gain of function and uh, there is a uh, condition with, with, which, is a, uh, which is a disease condition is uh, that is sting asso associated vesiculopathy with onset in infancy. In short, it is also known as SAVI. So, this result to the SAVI which is basically uh, uh, affecting the cutaneous and pulmonary region, okay. There are various condition which is, uh, uh, which is happening due to the constitutive uh, uh, activation of a sting molecule and that can result to the various kind of uh, SAV that is cutaneous as well as pulmonary SAV. So, these are some disease which is associated with uh, uh, DNA sensing uh, pathway, the mutation which is uh, present in those molecules which are involved in DNA sensing pathway. Now, I will take you to the uh, uh, some therapeutic uh, component, the, here you can see that the C gas sting pathway as a therapeutic target in inflammatory disease, okay. So, this is a kind of a uh, crystal structure of uh, CDC gas, okay. And uh, there are some, uh, some drug like anti-malarial drug or suramen uh, which can bind in this, uh, uh, to this protein, okay. It is a co-crystal uh, basically. And uh, here you can see that there is a, uh, the compound as C, okay. So, so, so this this can be used uh, uh, as a as a therapeutic molecule, okay. And this is much more detailed structure. So this this work is a is still quite a new work. It's uh, published in uh, uh, in 2021 the, the the review article. So so there are some attempt uh, in order to uh, use this pathway C gas sting pathway in 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 order to treat some inflammatory diseases, okay. Here with this I am uh, completing the whole pattern recognition receptor. I have discussed in great detail uh, the concept of uh, uh, pattern recognition receptor and then we have discussed uh, discovery of toll-like receptor, TLR signaling pathway, TLR and diseases and uh, TLR ligand used as a therapeutic agent in various kind of uh, infectious as well as non-infectious diseases. We discussed in great length about the RLR pathway and we discussed ligand, signaling pathway and disease associated with uh, uh, mutation in RLR pathway uh, or uh, mo in molecules of RLR pathway. And we have also discussed uh, nod-like receptor in great length, the ligand, signaling and the disease and we have uh, discussed the DNA sensor pathway and uh, we have uh, discussed the signaling pathway and uh, the disease associated with uh, uh, DNA sensor uh, molecules or the molecules involved in DNA sensing pathway. And with this I am completing whole pattern recognition receptor and uh, I am also completing the six week and in next session we will start with uh, 
one very important uh, uh, component uh, of immunity which i uh, we call it as a complements okay and this complement is a soluble component uh, in uh, soluble factor uh, which is playing a very important role in uh, innate immunity okay and it is also linking this is a soluble factor which is linking uh, the adaptive immunity okay so we'll, we'll talk uh, various complement uh, uh, pathway in in upcoming session thank you thank you very much